Hi, I'm Darcy here with the two lovely Maddies. We are demonstrating some sculpt for you. We'll start in downward facing dog, please. Let's get after it. <laughs> Exhale your breath, spread wide through your fingers. Take up space. Inhale, lift your tailbone high. Exhale, let your heels melt a little bit closer to the earth. Breathe in, look forward, bend through your knees. Exhale, travel forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, capture your weights. Breathe in, chair pose. Stay here, press your heels in, give your toes a wiggle, and start to add in a squat through your legs. Inhale to lower, love that they step their feet out. Exhale, lift. We've got a couple different options coming for you. Maddie over here will invite an upright rose, which will consist more of utilizing your lats to lift. Take the pressure out of your shoulders. Find this squeeze from your heels as you lift. Maddie right here will add in an overhead press from the squats. So inhale to lower, exhale to lift, press through your core, lift overhead, avoid shrugging in your shoulders. So many different variations you can take. You can always check in with how low you're squatting. Maybe you take it just a little bit less. Don't go so deep. Another option, alternate arms or completely ditch your weights all together and focus on the press, the utilization of your arms, your strength. Four more friends. Yeah, can you do it? You got this. Love the options. Three, two, we meet in chair pose. One, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, ditch your weights. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. These options offer you different ways to work through your side bodies as well as your shoulders. Oftentimes we feel a little bit of tensity in our shoulders, so upright row gives you a chance to bring the weight down rather than up.